I'm saying that until recently I was one of those frustrated ones looking and looking and saying what is there left to do? Is there anything to do? I can't think of anything. Well here it is and I've been doing it. I have started and I want you to join me. It's beautiful. It is simply beautiful to see that we can come together regardless of any gender or race, regardless of any party. Constitution is not supposed to be party oriented. Whether they are libertarians, republicans, democrats, green party, I don't care. We are fighting. We are fighting for the exact same thing. We are fighting for our liberties, we are fighting for our constitution, and we are doing so constitutionally. We send the petition a letter asking for commitment signature response, right? On the record response from our Saying city council yes. members. They say, yes, we are committed to protect your rights, our rights, our constitution, our nation. We, or I, city council member this, I, the mayor of, let's say, Marco Island, I pledge to stand for our rights, for your rights, for our constitution. I stand against these mandatory vaccinations, mandatory masks, this insanity. And they are being true patriots, true Americans saying, we are going to, we are going to opt out because this is un-American, this is unconstitutional. Ordinary citizens, ordinary citizens who take their citizenship, right? They take being American, their constitution, they don't take it for granted. And they are being true patriots, true Americans saying, we are going to, we are going to opt out because this is un-American, this is unconstitutional, okay? One of our activist members prepared the template and we all emailed, send this to our city council members, right? It was beautiful. I got responses. You know how it is with Washington DC, you send petition, you send letter. They, they just tear it apart. They just throw it in the trash can. None of that. Immediately, I started getting replies. We are going to do that. It will be done like this. Our elected officials here, we are going to get them opt out, nullify, nullify lockdowns, nullify mandatory vaccination, and nullify mandatory masks. And they are saying it's not mandatory, even though it is mandatory. The Americans, yes. the real Americans, yes. this is the nullification, think of it as the 10th amendment, our guaranteed right. Think of them as an opt-out, your state, our state, my state, opting out of this insanity and saying, no, you can't force me to do that. And we have the right, the federal government, the, this insanity blanket all over our nation and get so frustrated and say, there is, there is nothing we can do. We are so little. Florida, in Tampa, near Orlando, in Northwest Florida, who are saying, yes, we want to be part of it. Masks, lockdown, the coming mandatory vaccination, which is around the corner. Did that resonate or pondering what, what can we do under these circumstances with our nation under attack? Pretty much invaded the by the alien. world order deep state alien. What else? What else should we do? What is it that we haven't tried? What is it that we must do or we can do to take back, to save our nation? Now, I didn't do any of that. In fact, in fact, the path, the, path, the formula, the formula with guaranteed victory to overcome this insanity, these fascistic police state of our nation, 
this takeover of all our rights, well, that path, that formula has been around for over two centuries. Drilled into, it has been engraved into our Bill of Rights. Our founding fathers back then, they foresaw yes. this and they provided us with the formula that last resort as the last resort. And you tell me, if this is what we are seeing, this insanity we are seeing now, if this is not the time, if this is not the right time, if this is not the time to plug in this last resort, we have the right to do it, it's in our constitution, and it is doable, then what is? I would say over 100 million Americans who don't want to live like slaves, like dogs. Forget about getting so overwhelmed and frustrated by taking in the entire nation. Don't look at it that way. Don't look at it that way. It's time to do it and do it quickly because we don't have much time left. And we will do it and we can do it and it is guaranteed victory, not for the entire nation. Hmm. It is per state. Yes, it is. It will be just the beginning because it's the flu shot. Next year, six months from now, they're going to find a different virus, strain on and they're this gonna say, COVID Well, crazy. you have to repeat it and this time you need to supplement it with this strain. And while they are at it, they're going to start adding others because once they get people become dogs, yeah, the pets, the dogs, the rest is going to come indefinitely. They didn't really talk about the borders and defending of our borders that much. It has always been about standing up for defending eternal vigilance, defending our constitutions, our liberties. Here it is. There is no ifs or buts about it. It is boldly engraved permanently, indefinitely as our right in our Bill of Rights. Definitely, permanently. That's the formula. What are we going to do? This is a state that is not going to be that hard. We got to save this and we're going to opt out. Our elected officials here, we are going to get them opt out, nullify, nullify lockdowns, nullify mandatory vaccination, and nullify mandatory masks. It's beautiful. It is simply beautiful to see that we can come together regardless of any gender or race, Regardless of any party, Constitution is not supposed to be party oriented. Whether they are libertarians, Republicans, Democrats, Green Party, I don't care. We are fighting. We are fighting for the exact same thing. We are fighting for our liberties. We are fighting for our Constitution and we are doing so constitutionally.